Howdy partners, Monica with Remax Prestige here. Today we're talking about how to wrangle up your down payment to buy a house. So number one, be smart with your credit cards. So if you've racked up your credit cards over the years, I know we've all done it, I did it in college. The one thing that I would suggest that you do is transfer it to a 0% interest card, which is great. Let's say you have three grand in debt and you wanna pay it off, you get 0% interest for a year, that's $250 a month that you have to pay off your card with zero interest. So you're paying less money. You might have a little transaction fee to transfer the money, it's usually like three, four percent, but there's usually a cap on that too. So that's one way that you can pay your cards down. Another thing is you wanna pay your cards off every month. You don't wanna keep racking up interest, racking up those bills, just pay them off every month. And with that being said, if you get a card that has credit card points for using your card, just for using it, again, pay your card off every month, and then you'll get extra money in points that you can use towards buying stuff on Amazon, or even just getting cash back, which is great. So why not use those perks to have some free money? So number two, you wanna save any extra income. And by that I mean, did you get some birthday money? Did you get a good tax return this year? Put that money into your account. But if you get an extra dollar an hour raise at your job, save that extra dollar an hour and put it into your savings account. Easy way to save money. Okay, so number three, change your living situation. If you've got your own apartment and you're paying all that rent on your own, why don't you get a roommate? Or better yet, if it's possible, move in with your parents. I know they'd love to have you. Just take a little bit of a sacrifice, live with your parents, get a roommate, save that extra money. Number four, pick up a side hustle. What do I mean by that? Well, if you have time, maybe you can drive Uber. Maybe you can have a garage sale and sell a bunch of stuff that you never use. You can sell stuff on Craigslist. There's always another way to make some money. Number five, look for some deals. Wrangle up yourself a deal. Find coupons, Groupons, sales on Amazon. Maybe not. Maybe you have an Amazon problem like I do. <laughs> Stop. Look for deals on the bills that you already have. Your cable bill, are you paying too much? Are you even watching it? Maybe just cancel your cable bill and just use internet. It's gonna save you money in the long run. Number six, take home more money monthly. What the heck do I mean by this? Of course, everybody wants to take home more money monthly, right? So what I mean by this is, for example, are you contributing to your 401k? If you're contributing $100 a month, maybe drop it down to 50, save that extra 50, put that in your savings account. Another option is change your allowances on your W-4. Maybe you're claiming zero. If you claim one, they take out less taxes. You wanna to talk to your financial person about this to make sure that it's a wise decision. All right, y'all, last but not least, save your money. Did I just do that? Open up a new savings account makes it easy so you're not mixing funds with your going out money or your bills money. Just open a savings account for your home. With that being said, set up some recurring payments. What I mean by that is pay yourself into this new savings account every month, same amount every month, just like you're paying rent. And lastly, talk to a financial planner, a financial advisor, even your local bank has somebody that you can talk to, and it's free of charge. They can talk to you about the different accounts they have, like a certificate of deposit, a CD account, there's mutual funds accounts, different ways to save money and make your money grow faster than just putting it in a regular savings account. All right. So with all that being said, I hope you guys learned a ton today. All these little tidbits helped me buy a house, so if they can help me, it can certainly help you. And if you have any questions or need any advice, please feel free to reach out to me, whether it's through hmm, Facebook, Instagram, email, call, text, snail mail, however you want to get a hold of me. I'm here for you. We'll talk to you soon.